I am using something called a Posca pen. It's basically an acrylic paint marker, and I'm going to be drawing on a small sheet of watercolor paper. Now I'm using gold because I think it has kind of a cool look to it, and I'm going to start drawing just some basic bottles. I want to try to make them different sizes and shapes. If you need to, you could draw them out with pencil first and then go over them with some kind of marker or you could even use gold paint if you have gold paint. But I really like these paint pens because you can have fun with them. Um, and it doesn't have to be gold. You could just use black, of course, but I thought the gold might look kind of cool. So there's my first bottle. Next, I'm going to do another bottle that's just a different size and a different shape. And maybe it's gonna be at a different angle too, kind of curved off to the right. So I'm just gonna try to think of some different bottle shapes that might work for this project. And each one has a nice little top and then I'm gonna put like a little cork in it so that it keeps the potion inside. So there's my second bottle shape. I'm gonna do a couple more here. Maybe I'm gonna make a larger one in the center here. Just really have fun with different uh, sizes and shapes. Come up with the neck of the bottle. Trying to make them symmetrical, at least as close to it as I can. Adding a little cork in that one. Next, I'm gonna make a, a thin one. That kind of comes down almost to a point. With a little cork. And one more. This one will have kind of a rounded edge on the bottom. Almost heart shape, actually. And then a wider top. So you can see I had fun with a lot of different sizes and shapes for each of my bottles. I'm gonna add another line just to kind of make it look like you can see inside or see through the bottles. And I think I'm liking it. All right, I'm also going to add some little gold dots kind of floating around my bottles, almost like little bubbles or bits of magic floating in the air. So while I've got my gold pen out, I was gonna go ahead and add these. Although you could wait till the end and add these types of elements as well. I'm throwing in a couple of star shapes too, just to kind of add to the magic with my gold. I am gonna leave a little bit of space around these bottles for some colored dots and colored bubbles as well. All right, I'm putting my Posca pen away and now I'm going to switch over to my watercolors. Today I am using a little um, set of watercolors that I have, it's called Artistro watercolors and I like this set because it's very transportable, it's small, and they have a lot of different colors to use. So what I'm doing is in each bottle, I wanna have multiple colors. Um, I wanna have a kind of a fun transition from one color to another. And so to do that, I'm gonna get one side of the bottle wet, and then while it's still wet with the first color, I'm gonna go ahead and add the second color. And because it's still wet, the colors might mix a little bit. Uh, but I'm trying not to over brush it because I don't want it to mix too much and just give me like a yellow green all over the bottle. I like that it's yellow on one side, green on the other, and it's kind of swimming in the middle between the two. So I'm trying just to 
fill one side of my bottle first or maybe the top part of my bottle first and then add to the bottom. You can kind of play around with which section you fill and then while it's still wet, I'm gonna go in and add another color. Now, it is important which color you add. For example, I would not want to use the complementary color uh, that I'm using. So for green, I would not really want it to go red necessarily because then it would make kind of a brownish color. And I want my colors to be kind of vibrant. So I'm trying to pick colors that are close to each other on the color wheel. Yellow's right next to green, green's right next to blue, and so that way when they mix, it's a very nice, subtle color in between. On this large one, I'm gonna go ahead and use some pink, and then I'm hoping that it can kind of transition into purple. The transition works best with some water, so make sure that your paint is wet enough when you add the second color. If it's too dry, the colors won't mix and create that fun um, marriage, I guess, between the two colors. These two colors are pretty similar, so I do want to try to find a little bit of a darker color. If you want to get really fancy, especially on a larger jar, you could even use three colors and have it mix from one to another to yet another color. So depending on the size of your potion jar, you could get pretty fancy here and even use multiple colors. I'd be very impressed if you could even get one that uses all of the colors of the rainbow starting at the top and kind of moving its way down. That would be kind of a, a fun challenge as well. On this one, I wanna go with kind of more of an orangey color and that maybe turns into some red. Notice that on this one, I started at the top and it's going red towards the bottom, just like I did with the pink and purple one. And because it's wet, just kind of bleeds one right into the other. Next, I'm going to do my final one. I'm gonna get that one with kind of this light turquoisey color. Fill that in, make sure I'm using enough water and rich paint to get a good filling. And then on this side, I'm gonna go with more of a blue, a true blue color. Like so. If your first color gets lost, you can always go back in and add a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let those dry or at least sit for a minute. And now I'm going to add some color to the little corks that are holding these bottles shut. I'm just using kind of a reddish brown color and I'm gonna paint all of them the same. However, you could definitely do corks of different colors. Yellow ochre would be a good cork color as well. I'm just filling those in with my little pointed brush. This brush came with my watercolor set and it's nice for some very small detail work. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my brush. And like I said before, I wanted to add some colored bubbles around the outside edges as well. So now I'm going in with some of the same colors that I used for my bottles, and I'm adding some extra little bubbles around my bottles with those colors. So I added some purple ones, now I'm adding some greenish ones and different sizes to just kind of floating around my magical potions that I have painted.
Once I've let all of those sit, I'm using now a white Posca pen, and I just wanted to add kind of a little line of highlight on the left side of each of my bottles. So you can kind of use that. You could also just use white paint to do that as well, just to give it a little bit of a highlight on the side with the bottles here. And then I also wanted to use it to add a couple little spots in the bottles as well. So you can see I've added those too. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have fun painting some magical potions in watercolor.